So we are chilling out in Durban, back on the boat after our adventures in Sandy Pass, and it looks like we might actually have a weather window to get down the wild coast. And you'd be motoring into five to 10 knots. This is by like tomorrow night, it switches for us. So by that time, we'd be well out in the current, in a five knot current going south. And then we'd need to be in East London by it's Monday at 2 p.m. So if we leave tomorrow morning, that gives us uh, 34, 30, 33 hours. 33 hours, yep. Which I think we can to do. To go 252 miles or something. Previously on Delos, we take a road trip to Lesotho and have a beer at the highest pub in Africa. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> we, we did it. it. We got beers. We're at the highest pub in Africa. And cheers. And scuba dive the world famous Aliwal Shoals. Alright, so it's five in the morning. The sun's just risen and uh, the weather is still looking pretty good, so we're gonna go for it. Miss Brady's out getting the lines off. Oh, feels so good to be leaving. I don't know. It feels like we've been waiting for a while and even though the conditions might not be perfect, it's still it feels awesome to be going. We were about to sail down one of the most dangerous coasts in the world known locally as the Wild Coast. It stretches over 300 miles from Richards Bay in the north to East London in the south. Over the centuries, countless boats have been sunk and damaged here due to the terrible conditions. So what makes the Wild Coast so wild? Well, it all starts in the far South Atlantic Somewhere below South America, a huge low-pressure system is born. The low sets out and moves east towards the Indian Ocean, crossing just below the Cape of Good Hope. These storms can vary in strength, but commonly produce winds in excess of 50 knots. 50 knots in itself is pretty rough, but it's manageable. This is Delos sailing in one of these lows in the southern Indian Ocean. The real problem occurs when one of these blows comes head to head with one of the strongest currents in the world. The Agulhas current runs from north to south, down the east coast of Africa, and it speeds of up to six knots. When you take a 50 knot blow, known locally as a buster, and put it directly into a six knot current, you get a sailor's worst nightmare, current fighting the wind. These conditions can create standing waves in excess of 20 meters, over 60 feet. They're known as shipbreakers. The advice from local sailors is to wait for the low to pass. The very second the barometer starts to rise, you head out into the tail of the last system, out into the current. You point your bow south and run like hell even if it means beating into it at first. We had about 30 hours to make the 252 mile sail to Port Elizabeth before the next blow. We'd need to average 8.4 knots to make it happen. We are four hours in and we haven't hit the current yet. How far out do you think the current is? <laughs> it looks really close, doesn't it? I mean, the current should be should be within right. like five or ten miles. Yeah. It comes and goes a little bit more now, so sometimes we not don't have current against us, which is pretty nice, but we still don't have any current with us, which is a little bit. I really want to hit that soon <laughs> to boost us a little bit because now we don't go very fast. 
around like four knots, which is not fast enough for sure. And the ocean is pretty, I don't know, just confused. It's quite a lot of weird waves and they just toss us back and forth motoring like this, but hopefully we'll get some current and wind soon in the right direction. <laughs> Three o'clock now, brother. And we've got wind. We get wind. We got wind. All right, from the right direction, almost. Yeah, it's coming more and more easterly. It started southeast at like five or ten knots, and now it's ten knots out of the east. And then we just keep expecting it to back more and more out of the northeast. But we're still going to motor because we were going quite slow for the first, I don't know, five or six hours today. But now that we got the sails up, we can motor and sail and pick up some of that lost ground. We're sailing! We got the wind now, boss! Oh boy, boss, you got the wind now! How good does it feel, brother? It feels magical and amazing. I'm just laying here in the sun, just snoozing in the afternoon on the ocean. How good is it, man? It's the best. It's the best thing in the world, I think. Sunshine, a bit of sailing. It's amazing. It's turned out to be a beautiful night tonight. We've got like 25, 30 knots of wind right from behind us. So the forecast has really come together for us and it's pretty cool. The breeze is now really where it should be out of the like east-northeast and uh, it's behind us. We're on course. We're cruising along. We've made pretty good speed. We're averaging between like 9 and 10 knots the whole time which is awesome, and uh, it's smooth sailing. Looks like we picked a pretty good weather window. If these conditions hold, which it looks like they're going to, by about 14 hours from now, we'll be like right in here somewhere, like right about here. And what that means is if we pull into East London, we sort of will stop for I think about 10 or 15 hours or something. But if we keep our course right now and head out a little bit further, instead of pulling into East London, we can just go on a port tack and start heading off this way because the wind sort of does this. So it comes out of the south and then it would come behind us again and we can just continue heading on towards the Cape in Mossel Bay. So unless this changes, I think that might be the best, the best thing. We just have to get somewhere before this next guy comes through, and because uh, we want to be like anchored before that, because that's quite a strong westerly. Good morning. Nothing much has changed overnight, really. I feel quite tired, even though I've been sleeping a lot. I don't know what's going on just waking up at 3 and it's almost 5 now. I feel really squishy but it's a beautiful morning, it's quite cold and we're hooning so it's good.
is night number two and it's definitely a bit of a crazy one. <laughs> we have had for my whole watch, I came on about three hours ago, we've had like 30 knots of wind and we reefed all the sails and because we reefed the jib so much it just laughs like crazy. We also had quite a few boats, um, quite a few cargo ships kind of all around us. Come on. Stupid sail. Yeah, cargo ships, so we actually had one of them change course for us because it was coming up right behind us and I couldn't really turn anymore. So, it's very nice. I like nice cargo ships. <laughs> you can see all of these guys around us and that guy was the one that has kind of turned for us. It's very nice. Morning, baby. Bit of a wild one. It's like riding a horse down there. <laughs> Not that I've ridden many horses, but... It was a hell of a ride. Yeah. Well, it's calmed down a little bit. It's more around 20 instead of 30. Yeah, so I feel that. That's a good, good sign. Good, it's about 5.30 in the morning and we're just uh, outside of Port Elizabeth now. And so far the weather's been cooperating pretty good. We decided to skip uh, East London and go right on by, which saves us uh, a day or two of waiting there. And now we're trying to make our decision about whether we need to stop into uh, Cape St. Francis or if we can just continue on to Mossel Bay. And I think we're going to try and head for Mossel Bay. And then we got to tuck in because there's a pretty big westerly blow coming. So we'll sit it out at anchor, wait for that blow to pass by, and then we should be able to round the Cape after that. So we have a full day and a half to get there. It's just over 200 miles now. So I think we can make it. We can maintain six knots. It is blowing about 20 knots and it's awesome because it's from the back. So we are cruising and we will definitely make it into Muscle Bay before this kind of heavy wind is coming. We downloaded weather a while ago and double checked it and as long as we make it in by tomorrow night, we should be good. And we'll probably make it in tomorrow afternoon. And especially because we're going like nine knots now, so <laughs> it's really exciting. That's another beautiful day at sea coming to an end. Check out the sunset we've got. from behind so it's blowing straight into the cockpit. The only thing that is a little bit worrying I guess is that the barometric pressure has dropped quite a lot these last three hours. It should be dropping but I, I didn't think it was gonna be this early. Hopefully it's nothing. We'll see. And now I'm just really excited to go and lay under my blanket and get warm again. Welcome to my favorite watch. Check out this sunrise. Nothing like a sunrise at sea, even if it's cold. Look at that beast. Sunrises and sunsets never get old, ever. The low is moving a lot faster than forecasted. Luckily, we were cruising and made it into the anchorage just before the front hit. Muscle by. Muscle by. Where we're gonna anchor for two days approximately. What's the depth, bro? 4.5. Locked in. Snub him up. At sea, it was gusting up to 50 knots. But here, in our cozy little anchorage protected by the headland, we barely saw over 20. 
getting really windy today. It's blowing between like 20 and 30 knots all day. We actually drug anchor this morning, which is a little bit embarrassing, but there's plenty of room here, so no harm done. And uh, we're just chilling out, just waiting for the wind to change. It's probably going to change later tonight, which means we can leave in the morning and uh, we'll be on our way. Uh, there's so many cool people that have, that have helped us buy some beer, so sending them some pictures and thank yous. And all the cool people that are sending us Facebook messages, trying to crack on with those. There's a lot of cool people, man. Amazing stuff. So it's been kind of a message admin day for me. It's been a good day, though. It's been a great day. Super productive. Except for when we drug Anchor earlier. Except for Anchor. <laughs> that was a little startling. I'm really glad we weren't someplace and like ran into something. That yeah, been... we got plenty of room to drag, but that's uh, a little embarrassing, honestly. It happens to the best of us. You'll always drag at some point. Yeah. Happy Friday the 13th, brother. It is Friday the 13th. And, uh... <laughs> uh, shit. You're not supposed to start a passage on a Friday. We're not starting a passage, though. Yeah, we're continuing we're a passage. We're continuing a passage. So it's okay. We've got the weather right here. Yup. And it is super light. We are... right here. And Cape Town's there, 260 miles, and it just, no wind, that's what we'll have to go through right there. The plan is to head out and uh, try and make Cape Town by early Sunday morning. It's totally doable. Definitely doable. So we'll get up the hook and uh, motor on out. It's like blowing six knots right now out of the southeast. And we are out. It's out! Woo! Let's do this! We're actually having more wind than we thought, which is awesome. So we're able to put out all the sails and kind of going upwind, 60, something like that, which is awesome. How is your watch train, Brian? I'm kicking ass at watch right now. I got 3,675 points. What? I've got a sunset, I have a hot tea. <laughs> mm. We were sailing still. We didn't think we were going to sail. No, we're doing real good. We've been going five to eight knots. Look, it's been yeah. cool. So cool. Never gets old. Look at that. So we are about 20 to nautical miles away from the most southern tip of Africa. In not too long we will cross over to the Atlantic Ocean again. So exciting. I mean we have no wind now and it's hard to imagine it being really stormy here but I'm sure it could be and will be quite soon. <laughs> it kind of feels like it's going to be maybe not easier sailing but a little bit more known. Like, a lot of people do that passage and across the Atlantic and it just feels a bit more tame than kind of what we set out to do last season, which was go back to the Indian Ocean. And it was a, quite a long passages and quite tough sailing actually thinking back on it, you know? Just about now. So cool. We're doing it. Boom town, bitches. It's done. We crossed the line. It's a weird feeling. It's quite a big milestone, I think, for me. Just thinking that this tough part of the passage and sailing and this whole season, really, it's kind of coming to an end and we're gonna park in Cape Town and kind of have that those weeks there to do some maintenance get some stuff in order do some editing all that stuff and then I don't know continue and plan the next season which is really exciting just happy I think and just 
just really proud of myself and also proud of us, you know, and Delos and how how we're kind of here and how we've done this and everybody that's been involved. It's so amazing and I don't know, it's been a very special season and I think we've learned a lot about what we want to do and just what this project means to us and I think the people for me is the most amazing thing like all these amazing people that we've had on board and all the people that write to us and all the comments and all the support that we're getting is also completely overwhelming and amazing and it really makes the whole thing to what it is which for me is really cool and here we are, <laughs> the most southern tip of Africa. Guess where we are? Um, oh, we're crossing Cape Agulhas. Yes. Oh, Just shit. about five minutes ago. No, we have to do the Neptune routine <laughs> to honor Neptune. Yes. So it's always a tradition when you cross into a new ocean or you cross the equator that you give Neptune some of your finest alcohol on board. And this guy Grant gave us this at the Delos event that has super good whiskey. So we're gonna give Neptune a little, oh, a little dab. That is our finest liquor, isn't it? It's our finest, yeah. But only the best for Neptune. And we have to take a little. Oof. <laughs> ah, good morning, Brady. <laughs> Is it nice? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You yeah. will set your taste buds off for the morning. <laughs> Breakfast time. Jesus. We gotta get get Brian some too. Hey, buddy. Oh, are we crossing? We just crossed! Whoa! Cape Gulas, bitches! We are now on the Atlantic, brother! Whoa! Take a little swig! Whoa! Our finest whiskey on board! Good morning! I know! <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to take a big one! Oh! <laughs> That's delicious, actually. Isn't that good? <laughs> ah! All right, brother. It burns. I know. Ooh. Back to sleep. <laughs> there goes another ocean, brother. Hello, Atlantic. Hello, Atlantic. Bye, bye, Indian. Brady. Well. It's your time for watch now. <laughs> What's wrong with my alarm? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's too low. It's it's. Uh, it's three o'clock and it's your birthday. Oh shit! It's my birthday. <laughs> I'm a tired old man. No. <laughs> Thirty thirties. Thirty <laughs> um, thirty today, baby. You know. Yeah. I know. And it's three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> It's a hell of a birthday. It's gonna be a f***ing good sunrise. Uh-huh. Dirty 30 sunrise birthday. I'm gonna have a little Brady party out here by myself. You should. It's like 5.30 in the morning and the sun is just starting to come up above Cape Town behind us. Good. Couldn't ask for a better birthday Look gift, man. That. Oh, happy birthday, Mr. Brady! <laughs> you forgot about my birthday! <laughs> happy Look, birthday, man. Dirty 30 in the yeah. house! Dude, how do you feel, man? I feel good, man. I feel like 30s are gonna be a good one. Look at this beautiful I couldn't view. ask for anything better, bro, sailing into this beautiful city like this. I'm so stoked, man. Look at this! <laughs> oh, 
What a gorgeous sunrise, eh, bro? Yeah, one that'll be in the memories forever, man. Won't forget this one, bro. Do you have any wantings for your birthday today? Dude, I'm pretty, pretty content right now. <laughs> Sailing into Cape Town with you guys is pretty special, man. Beautiful morning. I don't know, I think we should head to the dock. We got some Bloody Marys, maybe some brunch. Maybe a shower, a hot shower in yeah, there somewhere. Hot shower. <laughs> yeah. But man, this is gorgeous. Cape Town for control, Cape Town for control. This is the yacht Delos, Delos summer. Good morning, Port Control. Just wanted to request permission to enter the harbor bound for the V&A Marina. Uh, our last port of call was Durban, over. Thank you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day. Standing by on one six. Okay. That was super easy. <laughs> easy. <yes. laughs> like, all right, welcome, dude. <laughs> okay, go through. Why are you bothering me for my coffee, huh? <laughs> Mr. Brady, cheers to you, brother. Happy birthday. Ooh, how's that? Oh, that's a good, that's a very well made Bloody Mary. Here, Look at this. It's a little different than my cut. It was sort of just a, it's my birthday. a cut and dash, but treat you're getting the, the real treats. Treat so, what, brother, give me a hair flick. Whoa, 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 whoa. Up next, we fly to La Rochelle, France to see the birthplace of Delos. We get to take a tour of the Amel Yachts factory and sail on one of Delos's younger sisters, a brand spanking new Amel 55. <laughs> okay, sweet. First thing in the morning. <laughs> it's a wrap. <laughs> like it? I like it a lot. How do you cook these things? Hey, it's windy out here. <laughs> Sorry for the interruption. Anyways, sailing downwind. I'm eating some biltong. Oh, baby. Just not day on the ocean. First hook drop, 2017. Whoop, whoop. Wow. <laughs> 
sound pretty healthy there, bro. I am. I'm the healthiest I've ever been in my whole life. So we have Cape Agulhas to our starboard and the South Pole way, way down to our south. Or way... Uh, I don't know what I was going to say, but we have... How about those uh, requested mouth parties? Mouth party? Yeah, we'll see how that works out. I've requested a mouth party for my birthday, then I'd be really content. <laughs> Maybe a handy. Karen says I'll find somebody in the mall. <laughs> well, I don't know where else you're gonna find them. I stink, I smell like a burrito. I can smell you from here. Or is that the seals? Hungry. <laughs> Alright, let's go.